how-to video series from Landshack.com. How to install RG6 Quad Shield waterproof compression and hex crimp connectors using the Quick Cat system. Hi, this is Tony Casaza from Landshack.com and today we're going to show you two ways of terminating a piece of RG6 quad shield cable which is used for cable TV. We have our Quick Cat indoor outdoor compression connectors and our Quick Cat hex crimp connectors. We're going to take a piece of RG6 quad shield cable. We're going to start by putting a nice clean cut on the end of our coaxial cable using the cable cutter. I get a nice clean cut on the end. This is a piece of RG6 quad shield cable. As you can see, it's fairly thick. And uh, we're going to start by stripping our cable with our Quick Cat cable stripper. And we're going to put the stripper about an inch down on the wire. And we're going to give it several turns. We're going to turn it several times until it starts to turn very freely. And as you can see, it made several cuts. We're going to take off all the insulations. And here's what it looks like after it's stripped. Okay, here we have, uh, we're going to be peeling back the braiding, the first layer. We need to take off the aluminum foil which is in between the two layers of braid and I'm going to take a pair of uh, long nose pliers because we need to remove the layer of aluminum shield which is in between the two sets of braids because with that in place we'll not be able to get the connector on so we're going to need to remove that piece of foil now I'm just going to peel that right off Now with the foil shield removed, it will be much easier to get our connector on. And we have all of our braids all pushed back over the cable's insulation, as you can see. The center core is known as the dielectric. And these are our outer braids. Okay, we're gonna demonstrate two different types of connectors today. And this is our new Quick Cat connector made for us by Corning Gilbert. This connector is a very robust design. It's all metal and uh, it's a very high end quality waterproof connector. We're going to take our compression fitting. We're going to proceed to put that over the cable. And first we're going to go over the dielectric. And, and now at this point we have to get the inside, we have to get the dielectric flush with the end of the connector. So we're going to push and twist. Now that we have it flush with the end of the connector, we could trim off our end piece about one eighth of an inch. And the inner core of this connector is actually going to fit in between the inner braid and the dielectric. As you can see here, the dielectric is flush with the back of the connector. And we're ready to crimp. We're going to use our Quick Cat crimper and crimp on our connector. done. There are two features that make this connector very special and far superior to anything out on the market. For one thing it has a free spinning barrel and that is going to make it a lot easier for you to connect this into, into any device. The other nice feature here is that as you can see 
They skipped one row of threads in the beginning of the connector and the reason for that is to facilitate easy insertion onto any coaxial mail end. That's on there solid. That's a good waterproof connection we have there. This is the best connector on the market. And uh, as we said, we're going to show you both kinds of connectors. This is our crimp style connector. It's a very good connector. And uh, we have our cable end ready to go into the connector. Just give it a little push. And we're going to check the end once again, making sure that the dielectric is flush with the inside of the connector. And this is our coaxial hex crimper, which we're going to use to crimp this connector. We're going to use the largest die. We're going to back off on it just slightly. We're not going to go all the way to the end, but we're just going to back, back off on it slightly. And now we're ready to crimp. And now we have a nice, solid hex crimp. Now we're going to trim the center conductor. We're going to leave it sticking out approximately one eighth of an inch. That's on there solid. I hope you enjoyed the information we gave you today. Uh, it was my pleasure to uh, demonstrate it for you. And I hope you come to our website, landshack.com, where you can buy all the supplies you saw today and more. Our new Quick Hat toolkits, cable, and many other supplies for cabling, for fiber optic, Category 5, Category 6, and cable TV.